Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to look at the concealed dust busting tool that is integrated inside of Resolve. This is a tool that was actually uh, imported directly from the original DaVinci Revival program, and it actually sits in the middle of the color page. So if you come over here to the viewer, and you look over here, as you can see, at the moment it's sitting on the eyedropper mode because we are looking at the qualifier. But if I come over here and change this to dust removal and then right mouse click on it, a menu pops up and it says dirt removal settings, auto temporal, we've got uh, spatial and also median. We've also got aggression and blend that can be changed and it can be changed between a draw and clean mode or a click and clean mode. Click and clean then is derived from this. This is the click and clean pixel size. So when you click on the object, anything within a 15 pixel radius will then be corrected for. Once you change anything here, you just click on save. And so if we come over here and we gum through our uh, media that we have here in the picture, and we say, uh, okay, here's a piece of negative dirt in the picture. I just left mouse click on it, draw it over that area. And it's gone. And then I can come up to here and do the same thing with this piece of dirt here. And then I can scroll through the various frames and then when I find something that wants to be corrected, like for example this one, I can do the same thing. And there you have it. Okay, so what is important with this tool is the files that can be used with it are only DPX file formats and also you cannot be working with proxies or optimized media. So if you go to the edit pull down menu and you select revival undo, that will actually undo any corrections that were made using the dust busting tool. So for other tips and tricks like this, have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. And also for more options about training, have a look in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.